Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Santa Edwards. Welcome back to Swift Coding for Everyone. We're going to continue on in our lesson where we are building our personality quiz. What we're going to do here in this particular video is we're going to build our our model, our data, um, the behind the scenes stuff for our app. And so we're going to go ahead and get started. But first, what we need to do is we need to give our view controllers on our storyboard the proper names and files for them. Uh, so first off, um, I already did this on my own, but for if you click on your view controller file, the main one, um, what you'll do is, is you'll click on uh, view controller and you'll right click on it and you'll hit refactor and you can hit rename and then you can give it the name that I give it or something else if you want to. Um, which I put intro VC and I also changed it up here in my comment area. I just like to have everything looking the same. All right. And so going back to the main dot storyboard, we need to also do the same thing for our um, questions, uh, questions VC and our results VC. All right. And so I want to do the same thing. So I'm going to go up to the personality folder. I'm going to hit command N as the shortcut and I'm going to go to a uh, Kokoa touch class hit next and I'm going to uh, name this make sure this it's a subclass of UI view controller just like that just how you see it and I'm going to call this uh, questions VC and I'm going to hit enter for next and hit create and I'm going to do the same thing for the uh, results VC all right and so results VC hit enter create and I'm going to highlight them both um, over here in the navigation uh, or in the uh, navigator area and I'm going to drag it up um, under the intro VC all right bam got that and I'm going to go back to the main down storyboard and I'm going to select my uh, the middle VC first or uh, the questions VC what we know is the questions VC and you will go over here to the uh, class uh, or the identity inspector and I'm going to start typing questions and I'm going to hit enter uh, to give that uh, its new name and then for the results VC I got that highlighted and for this class I'm going to start typing in results and it popped up and so I'm just going to hit enter all right and so we've got our results VC and our questions VC um, connected um, to the uh, code uh, file to the code file all right and so now we want to build our data so um, each different question that we have, what, what, what we want to do is we want to set up to where um, we have our questions um, uh, structured to where it'll you know show the text and it'll also uh, correspond to the different types of questions. So we have the single type of question, we've got the multiple choice, and we've got the ranged question, right? And so we need to set up our data behind the scenes to make sure that is all structured in the right way. And also for our answers so each of the answers that the user will select will correspond to a different animal right and then for for each different animal uh, type that is selected that they chose the most uh, or whatnot will have its own uh, characteristics and so at the end so we're going to do that as well so that's what we're going to do so I'm going to uh, make sure I am over here in my file and the personality quiz Again, I'm going to hit Command N, and I'm just going to build or create a Swift file. Hit Next, and I'm going to name this uh, Questions Data. Question Data. Hit Create. Drag it from the bottom to up here on this area. That's fine. And I'm going to say I'm going to give it some space first of all, and then I'm going to go back to the top, and I'm going to say struct I'll say struct question I build a struct and we want to say text I'll be of type string obviously and then we're going to say type and we're going to say response type and we're going to build this in just a moment we're going to have an error for a little bit and then and then our answers is going to be an array of answer all right and so what we're going to do is we're going to build these um, two enums right now so for our response type so we have enum response type 
do our curly brace and open that up. We're going to hit case. We'll say single, multiple, and then ranged. All right, so we've got all of those. And then for our answers, so instead of having just, a, just an array of strings, we want an array of answer because um, our answer is, is more than just strings. So we're going to have our, our character, which is going to be represented by the emoji itself of the different animals. And then uh, each animal will also have its own separate definition for uh, the, you know the different characteristics about that particular animal. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to say um, struct answer, and we're going to again we're going to have uh, text. It's going to be a string, and then we're going to say var uh, uh, type, right? And we're going to say animal type. All right, and so we need to create the animal type uh, enum. And so we're going to say enum animal type oh, curly brace, and I'm going to say uh, case uh, dog. Up, oh, actually, we need to make sure we do this. We have to give it uh, give it a type um, declaration. And then we're going to give it um, some raw values. So we're going to put our emojis inside of here. Remember, you can do it the cool way by hitting Control, Command, and the space bar. But I got to do it the lame way. And so I got to go to this emoji or up to the file menu and do this uh, the whole time. So case dog, uh, cat is going to um, do this. So we've got our cat there. And then we've got our rabbit. And I'm going to go to edit once again and find our rabbit. And then our turtle. Oh. All right, turtle. All right, got it. Turtle, turtle. All right, cool. So uh, we got that, and then now we want to do a, a definition. So this definition can be represented by a label. Um, and then once we get to that, uh, did I spell that right? Definition. I think that's spelled right. Yeah, var definition, and it's going to be of type string. And we want to switch. Uh, do a switch statement. Switch self. And we want to do the different cases. So case dot dog, and we want to do um, the colon, and we want to say return. We want to give it the the dog is definition. So what characterizes a dog to you? Um, you can use the same definition from the book, or you can make up your own if you want. So we're gonna. I'm just gonna do this. So we're gonna. I'm gonna say um, you are incredibly outgoing. Uh, you uh, enjoy spending time with those you love and um, and doing uh, fun activities all right some along those lines all right cool now for our dog or for our cat case dot cat same thing so we do that and then we return and we'll say um, you are mischievous um, you march to the beat of your own drum exclamation mark you're mischievous Yet I'll do this. Yet mild temper. You march to the beat of your own drum. Cool. All right. Next, we'll do case dot rabbit, and then we're gonna return. Um, you love 
everything that is soft. Uh, you are very sweet. I'm just gonna leave it at that. And then case uh, dot turtle. All right, and so we're gonna return this up uh, return um, you are wise beyond your years um, you pay attention to details slow and steady wins the race all right cool got all of that all right um yeah so we're gonna wrap this up guys and so in the next lesson we are going to get into displaying our questions and answer but that's it for now thank you guys for joining me this is saint R. edwards with swift coding for everyone happy coding to you guys and y'all take care